Hello ladies and gentlemen and as always thank you for watching. Uh, this morning we've been called by the Cape Girardeau Police Department. We have a uh, semi crash out on the interstate. Uh, apparently a semi versus a box truck. Uh, it's the only information that we've been given.
Get him off the road for now and we'll worry about uh, yeah, where he's wanting to go later. How much they got on it? They said like 1,100 11, pounds? 11,000 pounds. 11,000. It's and all it's just uh, still, free. Still not that much. Yeah, that's what I think he's looking for. I can't believe he didn't get worse. Like yeah, no kidding. It's usually that. Oh, yeah. The, well, the, the cables normally trap them. They won't, won't let them go anywhere. Those must have been talons gloves, it won't fit my hands. That thing is putting fluid out everywhere. Hello sir! You all right, I guess? I made it so you can fix it Yeah, I don't think we have to worry about uh, damaging the front end on this one, huh? No. Old this one. Hey, Willard, if I forgot anything, I'll give you a holler. Backwards. Wow. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Watch yourself. If you don't mind, stand on that side, please. Yeah. yeah. I should know this would be a record <laughs> I got your oil pan, too, man. Yeah. Oil pan's destroyed. Well, 
just uh, awfully low. I'm not going to be able to get it in one pick. I'm going to have to lift the front end a little bit. Yep. Yep, she's too low. Just a fresh. Is this an automatic or a manual? See how the whole carriage goes back? Okay. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Busted, I'm still gonna put some taller forks on it. I don't want to tear the pan out any worse than it already is. They're gonna to have to replace it, but still. slick with all that oil on it.
Sergeant, do you need me to send clean up for all this oil dry and everything? Uh, fire department thought it was good. So. Fire department said it was good. Okay. The ones that put this out. Got it. As long as they're good with it, I'm good with it. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot on the road. Okay. I was just gonna see if you had any air at all. Oh, uh, shit, man. I, I had chicken since I pulled over. Nope, you got nope. nothing. <laughs> well, I was gonna just release the brakes and drag him up here to the exit, but he's got no air. He ripped everything out. What's that mean? Means it just takes me a little bit to hook up. I mean, I'm hooked up, but it's going to take me yeah, a little bit to, yeah. to get air to it and pull the drive shaft and all that stuff. But nobody got hurt in this? He's the only one that crashed. Only vehicle involved. Well, I got cut him off. And I right. Took the, took the rail and stuff the car. I don't know how he didn't flip it. set up for the fair this morning oh sorry <laughs> no 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 don't be sorry about that i forgot you guys are usually out there what are you gonna have up in the air this year probably school bus again that's what they that's what they asked for so seems like that's what people like to see pretty impressive oh my goodness 
Now, get him some air. And pull the drive shaft. I'm just saying, watch yourself, oh, friend. Yeah. You don't want to fall out into traffic there. Airbags are ripped. We're gonna have to go. Might have to cage all the brakes. The airbags are blown on it even. I guess cables got under it and cut them. Yeah, probably.
darn it.
Thank you for sticking with me. Oh, no problem. You know how it is out here. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. I don't even want to get over for me standing out here. Sad but true. Thanks again for being patient. When they're that badly damaged, you can't you, you can't move them. All I gotta do now is put air to the trailer and we're good to go.
Coming behind you, sir. Just do a quick check and I'm ready. Okay. Kingpin's locked. Slider pin's locked. Tires aired up, lights on. Officer, before you go. Thank you again, oh, very no, much. Man. Appreciate exactly. it. Thank you. Because if, they, especially if they're wanting to go to uh, Memphis or Nashville, or whatever, yeah. uh, this truck I can't take that far. Oh, we'll have to transfer it to a different truck. Uh, that's your problem. Your problem. Sure, right there. Go right ahead. Well, no, the thing is, this is a uh, this is a recovery truck. It does oh, okay. it does towing also, but 
We don't let this truck get very far away from Oh, okay. Home. Right from, from your zone. Right. Right, I understand. We have, we have other rigs that are capable of right. towing it that far. This one we keep close to the shop because of uh, the rotator yes, and yes. working accidents and stuff. stuff. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not really for long distance tows. Okay, I understand. Not that it's not capable of doing it, it's just <laughs> not practical to do it. <laughs> well, nice caps. There. Oh, thank you very much. I You're welcome, caps. sir. I'm Ron, by the way. I'm Willie. Thank Willie? You out. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, Man, that had to be a scary ride. It was because I think what he did, I think he did it because I was passing him. Ah. See. Just road rage. And that's what I think. That's not true. I think that because the guy in front of me, he actually stopped. He actually stopped and, you know, to make sure I was all right and everything. He said, I saw, but, you know, how that, he did, uh, it's, just a, it's a dark little car. Don't like it. That's all I can tell you. Right. He said, I did my best to try to get a uh, plate number. those cables normally those cables will trap you and they'll tear the truck up something yeah. terrible yeah. Uh, and it can take hours to get them untangled or that or you have to cut the cables to get them freed up right. Since this uh, piece. tractor is so uh, so damaged, they may want to just do a tractor swap. Bring a bring a truck up out of Memphis. Oh, I doubt it because the FedEx load. Okay. The FedEx load to Memphis, but they, we'll see what they say. I let okay. them know. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's up to them. We'll do whatever we can to right. accommodate. You know. Yeah, get a notice. So call and talk to Jeremy. Yeah, let's get her get her back to the shop first. Yeah. There's a few things that still need to be tied Boys up. Lead you through. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe that's the sheriff. Yeah. Uh, the sheriff and I work real well together. Yeah, that's how it was when I was in joint business. And the sheriff worked good together. Different than everybody. <laughs> yep, that is the sheriff. It is the big boss. Yeah, I, I told for 17 years. Did you really? Heavy uh, side? I was in business like maybe a couple of times, you know, and I didn't have no trailer back there. I'm not like everybody trying to be the big, like I'm the big car owner. No, I didn't know. I never drove a trailer behind me. You know, just see me as a time to pick up a, you know, a tractor or something on a right. truck. Uh, mostly I hauled Brinks, all the Brinks trucks. 
It's mainly what I did. Okay, all right. You know? You know, some people want to create a story. No, that, my story is just simple. <laughs> I mean, I, I drove them all the time, take it to the truck wash or whatever, but as far as, like, what you guys do, the whole kit, no, nah, I've never done that before. Now, my wife did. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, my wife did, yeah. There's, there's a lot of women in towing. Yeah. There, there really is. Uh, and I was thinking about David the other day. I've worked with David for so many years, you know. She, I ain't seen her. I what she up to. She was the only female driver we had. But she was good at her job. She had an attitude, you know. Is that the one that got killed back here? Oh, no, no, no. It's nope. a friend of mine I work with in the toy business. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna swing in here and we'll see what's going on here. So I know we're a man down today, but let's uh, see what we can do here. At least get it off the road. The road. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you don't want them to get hit back there. Nah, we're clear of the road. Yeah. We got our entrance blocked, but we're clear of the road. Okay. All right. Let's go see what's going on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's kind of what I thought they might do, which uh, makes the most sense. They're going to. Uh, have a truck towed up here from Memphis and do a tractor swap and repower the trailer, which we do that a lot with other companies that are here close. It, it makes sense to, to have a good tractor brought up here to repower the load and then they tow the uh, wrecked tractor or the disabled tractor whichever the case may be back to their home facility where they can have it worked on September 8th, 2017. Uh, I know my videos aren't always in chronological order. Uh, we haven't had a, any rain here in a long, long time or else I would never attempt what I'm getting ready to do. Uh, but I'm gonna pull this up through the field into that open spot between those two trailers and drop it out. Anyway, we are back. I'm gonna finish doing this. My battery's about to go dead. So as always, thank you for watching and God bless.